Frost Crag's Spire. Actually, it's more Shadowmere's ass than Frost Crag's Spire. That's Frost Crag's Spire. Hey, everybody. Angry Poncho here. And we are back playing Oblivion. And as you might have already guessed, we are at the base of Frost Crag's Spire, which is one of the uh, DLCs for this game. This is the Wizard's Tower downloaded content. And it's a fairly good one. I say that of the ones that you can purchase, I think the only one that is more worth its money than Frost Crag Spire is Shivering Isles. And that's because Shivering Isles like <laughs> gives you a whole other quest line. I've arrived, I should make my way inside. Okay, ah, oh, I should have made my active quest. You'll probably get another pop up soon. But yeah, this is the Wizard's Tower, and it is neat. And we actually have the key, it's a quest item, so I haven't been able to get rid of it yet. <laughs> Go ahead and run inside here. Some of the loading screens are just too short to cut out. This isn't very impressive, is it? I mean, it's got nice tall ceilings, but... Look at the interior decorating in here! It's been basically non-existent. I have discovered a dusty tome within Frostcrag Spire. I should read it to learn more. Alright, I'll make it my active quest. Read Frostcrag Spire Memoirs. After reading, well, that was fast. I learned that I can purchase everything I need to restore this place to its former glory from Erlenve at the Mystique Imperium in the Market District of the Imperial City. Okay. As I pen this, I gaze upon the walls of my home. And yeah, I'm going to flip through this one. So if you guys want to read it, you can. But I'm not going to spend time doing it right now. So, there you go. Actually, let's take it because it's worth 25 gold. And so now what? Whoa, hey! The little discs on the ground are moving. That's kind of... Whoa. Hey! Yes, this is Frost Crag Spire. By the way, how cool is that hand coming out of the ice? That is just freaking neat. Like, crystal hand? I don't even know. But yeah, wow. As the dust clears, we get our first view of the real interior of Frost Crag Spire. Now, this place is cool as hell. Now let's see how much gold we have. Uh, okay, nine, nine, nine thousand seven hundred some. So I don't know if that's gonna be enough to purchase all of the furniture for Cross. Ah, excuse me, Frost Crag Spire, but it will be enough to purchase at least the alchemical ingredients area, which is one of the uh, basically the most important area for our concerns right now. We're using this area as a home base. Actually, look, their alchemical ingredients are already here. We don't have to purchase these, so I'm just gonna go ahead right now. And you see all these uh plants and everything here. We've got two, we got three different areas. And I believe that this is like swamp plants that you would find like in Black Marsh, uh, the south of near Leowin and Braville. And then here you have like plains and forest flowers and plants and such like you would find near Shadenhall. Uh, perhaps like, uh, not near Braville because you don't get a whole lot of plants growing up in, or not Braville, but uh, not near Bruma because there aren't a whole lot of plants in the snow. But out, and then out west by Anvil and Skingrad you'll find plants like these. And then these, uh, it probably don't look familiar to you, is because these are all uh, plants from Oblivion. Harada root and bloodgrass. And I believe that's the only two that are there uh, from the Oblivion area, because it's basically all that grows there is this nasty shit. Anyway, so let's have a little bit of a montage here. I'm going to go and pick as many ingredients here as I can, and we're going to have a potion making spree in a bit. Ooh, Nern root. If you, get, if, if you haven't already got this quest started, you can go ahead and get that one now. I'm over encumbered. Oh my god. Uh, wow. Okay, let's just put our armor down. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I stole one of the light raiments, by the way. There we go. Get rid of that. Man, that's a lot of crap. Alright, well, that's enough uh, alchemical ingredients for me. We should have quite a lot now. Let's look and see here. Yeah, it's a long list of things that we've just recently picked. And I got some other junk that I've been picking up over the over the uh, gap here. So I don't think we actually can take that with us right now. So I'm just gonna leave. Well, actually, do I have anything else that I can drop instead? Because I'd love to have my armor on, even though we'll be wearing it for much longer. You know, with it being all uh, not. Yeah, what's the word? I think I can carry it if I drop that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, I should go ahead and tell you guys, uh, things are not as they appear. 
No, it's, it's not two. You got here the outside of Frostcrack Square. We have warps to every single uh, Mage's Guild. It's Proville, Coral, blah blah blah, and they all go through. And there's an interesting thing here. If you look for the Kvatch one, yeah. The Kvatch Mage's Guild is no more. Hmm. Interesting. We'll find out more about that when we finally get around to doing the main quest. Where am I headed right now? Ah, Erlenweg, in the uh, market district. Okay, when I said things aren't as they appear, what I meant was this isn't the same file as before. Not exactly. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at our stats. But you may notice that things are just slightly different uh, than they were when, we, when you saw me last. We are still level 8, but essentially what happened is I went from home to university, and now I have... Uh, I brought the wrong save file with me, so I brought the save file from when I finished the Dark Brotherhood, rather than bringing the save file from when I finished the arena. And so, as best I could, I, I modulated what we did in the, in the arena. I went played through all the fights and everything else again, and I got us back up to level eight. But I actually did a little bit better this time, so I think we have like slightly more health and a couple of things. But basically, the same character. The only major loss is that at some point I totally lost the uh, every single one of the Dark Hand ropes. I have no idea where they went, and so we just not gonna have those. I've been considering killing Arquin and taking hers, but I don't know if it's worth it, so let's talk to Erlen way. What? Alright, so we need to purchase. And there's gonna be she's gonna have papers in here. Yeah. Way. Alchemy lab, bedroom area, etc. Now I know from my own personal uses I'm gonna buy the vault one. Because that has a lot of chests that I can use to organize my crap. And the alchemy lab, uh you know if we've got the money, we might as well just buy all this stuff. Is there anything good we can sell? I don't know. I have all kinds of crap in here that I've been just messing around with. Bedroom. Library. Hmm. That gives us a bed. You know, if we can afford it. The library area. Hmm. I suppose so. I anything else good go in here? Oh, a Mage Tattle Candles box. Shit. I shouldn't have... Hmm. I should have saved up enough to have the Mage Tattle Candles. Oh well. I suppose that we'll get around to that eventually, won't we? I don't got anything I can sell. I can't sell them back to her, can I? Nope. Okay, well, we'll have to work on getting some more gold then. Shouldn't take too long once we start doing the guilds. Uh, get back into guild quests. This video is basically in, in between. This is the first video of the Mage's Guild quest line, but only on the principle that we're working on Frostcrag Spire. So, you know, Mage's well, Wizard's Tower and all that. Ah, uh, back at Shadowmere's ass. I mean, Frostcrag Spire. Kind of neat looking at it in the snow. So the whole observatory area and everything up top. Cool beans, man. I believe on clear days you can actually see the Imperial City from the top of Frostcrag Spire. And it's a pretty beastly view. You can see for quite a long way in this game, and it's surprising how far you actually can. I know on the PC version, your computer may limit you a little bit. And so you may not uh, be able to see very f as far as, a, for example, a 360 user. Uh, just because of the limitations of the software and everything else. But there's all kinds of books here, like the Beggar Prince, that's a good one. And then there's a... Uh, there's a couple of them here that are actually, I think, skill books, so I'm not entirely sure. But there's lots of, uh, of texts here that you can flip through. And some of them, like, yeah, you can see there's some that are weird up here, like they're by themselves. Like, The Amulet of Kings. I've never read that book, but, you know, it could give you some, uh... Darkest Darkness, that's one of my favorite ones from this game, because it's all about Morrowind and everything else. Let's see, Darkest Darkness, more of those. More of this stuff, okay, whatever. Ah, and we get a retort out of the deal. Actually, wait a minute, which one of those do we not already have? Uh, Alembic Mortar and Pestle Retort. Okay, let's grab the Calcinator. Boom. Okay. And Lesser Soul Gem, that's nice. You see, you get some free stuff. <laughs> Who doesn't like free stuff, really? Anyway, if you go up to this area here, there's some two altars here. Actually, there's three, but I never used the middle one. But, yeah, alt Octavate Altar of Spellmaking, Altar of Enchanting, but we can't use them now. Because they won't work without Mage Tallow Candles. And the only way to get Mage Tallow Candles is to buy them from uh, Erlen Way in the Imperial City for like 3,000 gold each, I believe, so we'll have to just get back to that because uh, I don't have the money right now. And I'm not really feeling like glitching out like to get a lot of money or anything like that, so I'm just going to let it go without. Now this is the uh, alchemy bench. When you walk up to it, bling! Alchemical brilliance added. And the bonuses you get from that is just that your alchemy skill is temporarily increased by 15 points, and once you move away, it returns to normal. But while you're standing right at this uh, little thing here, you got all these needle tools and everything that give you uh, an apprentice alembic. What have we got? We've got a novice alembic. I'll take that. What is this? A novice retort? Anything better than what I already have? Apprentice mortar and pestle? That's nice. 
Let's, not, let's drop the novice crap in the chest or something if I can move. Alright, take your clothes off. We gotta get rid of this weight. I think 72 pounds, that's heavy armor. Yeah, there's all kinds of places to put your crap here. What am I looking for? I don't need the novice alembic or the novice mortar and pestle. Okay, great. Yeah, that's another thing that changes that I missed out on a couple of those things. But, we're not gonna have a uh, potion making spree in the hopes that we can raise our alchemy skill from 47 to 57, giving us a level up and a good intelligence boost. So, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna save, and we're gonna do a little bit of a montage here where I make a whole shitload of potions. Plan is basically to just uh, mix together anything that's that um, it's possible to make. Potion time. Oh yeah, journeyman. Now we can see uh, all f the first three effects of potion or of, of ingredients, which is make potion making even easier. Awesome! Okay, we're down to just seven types of ingredients, and I don't think there's any other way to mix these together to make more potions. This is looking like they're all already burnt out. But, we got a good number of potions out of that. Let's see how many times... Eh, we load up a few times in alchemy. Almost five times. That's, that's really good for the number of uh, ingredients that we had. We didn't, we didn't duplicate or anything. It was everything that I found and just we happen to have. Look at that. Listener and Grand Champion. Let's you know what order the quest lines go in, yeah? Alright, so let's put our clothes on. How about that? Great. I stole Vincent, Vincente's clothes, if you can't tell. I mean, we're barefoot, so I need to find some shoes. Here's a ring of fortify intelligence that I found in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary when I was searching for the robes. But, uh, robes weren't there, but the ring was, and that's nice. So we're gonna wear that, so that'll give us more magicka. Or, effectively, more magicka. Got the Blade of Woe, which I don't really know if I'm gonna keep equipped, just because I don't wanna use it up. But anyway, look at all the potions that we made. We made a whole bunch of Restore Fatigue, 24 of those. Some Restore Magic, Restore Breathing, Intelligence, Health, Invisibility, t uh, 6 Poisons of Damage, Health, 1 Cure Disease, and then some Burdens. That's pretty good. It's not a bad uh, potion uh, run there. Weak Potion of Fright, Potion of the Fool, there's this Lesser Soul Gem, we'll take that too. And uh, if you're wondering how long it takes for you to, guy to be able to come back and pick these again, you can't do it immediately. You have to wait, I believe, a month in-game, and all the ingredients will respawn, essentially. They'll grow back, uh, is what it's supposed to be. Heavy Raymond of Valor. We gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this crap, I mean, really. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and drop it in here. We don't need to have it with us right now. But, let's see. So, you see what the items I'm carrying with me now? I'll go ahead and show you my whole inventory. Start from the top here. Got the Blade of Woe is the only sword I'm gonna take. I think I might grab a dagger or something out of here. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, I'm gonna take our silver dagger with us in case we don't, won't use a sword, but don't want to use the uh, blade of woe. And we've still got the amulet of kings, like we're we're gonna have for a long time. Uh, Ring of intelligence, black band. We got the hood. That's nice. We got some pants. We got a shirt. Cool dude's heart. The hammerfell shield. I don't know if I'm gonna really carry that around as a wizard. So I think I'm gonna drop that in here, since I wouldn't be really be using it anyway. It would just be sitting on my armor rating. So we'll boom, drop that in there. Got our our uh, equipment, which is all pretty much bum equipment right now. We're not very good at that yet. And we got some potions we've made, and we've got our ingredients that we're gonna keep. And then I got some other crap here that I probably should put in the chest. Let's see. Don't need that soul gem. We don't need all these scrolls I've got. And everything else is quest essential. So I'm gonna do a couple preparations, and I'm gonna meet you guys in a. Uh, in the Imperial City, where we're gonna sell all those potions we just made, or at least the ones that we don't need. Okay, so here we are in the Imperial City Market District. I believe it's the middle of the freaking night. Yeah, it's just about to become night, so we gotta wait a little bit till the stores open in the morning and we're allowed to go shopping. Going shopping! Oh yes. 